the show on the road. You guys ready? All right. All right. Three, two, one, Tetris. And that is the beginning of the revenge opportunity for Dan Sushi. Eric sent him down here to the loser's bracket. Can he fight his way back? Uh, Dan going with that uh, eight wide setup as discussed. Convenience, uh, discipline burns. Two Tetrises for Eric ICX. Boom, Tetris for Dan. And Eric set up. Boom! Tetris for Eric. Gotta channel the tang in this case. So yeah, these are just extremely, extremely solid play. Uh, again, we wonder, is Eric trying for that speed run tree strat, just play up a little higher? But as we've talked about, you really have a strong advantage if you can manage to play from behind in a sense of being able to have a prediction of when droughts are coming your way. Dan Sushi, only about a Tetris behind. And boom, Tetris for Eric ICX. And one right back for Dan, still holding that lead to one Tetris, if at all possible. Oh, and that takes us to that famous, famous situation, trading leads, dead heat. Or as they said so many times, neck and neck. So uh, what are each player's respective uh, PBs? Uh, so Eric ICX, uh, I believe it's, it's 9 million or something. It's, it's That sounds rather rather high. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 so it is high. It's, okay. It, I, it's, I, I am the role of the five-year-old yeah, uh, where well, I... I, I, know it, yeah. it, I know it sounds high, but... You know, I want to make sure that it, it, it sounds and is, in fact, no, no, it, actually it, high. If, if it sounds high, it's because... It is. <laughs> it, 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 it is high. Um, I can uh, pull up the actual number because it's just been... So, I mean, like, in terms of, like, that order of magnitude, uh, is, is Dan in a similar, like, d d range? Yeah, so... so uh, it, no, D Dan is just shy of max out. He's in 950k, I believe. Eric ICX, uh, at least as far as the monthly is concerned, yeah, 6.4 million okay. is. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, Eric is our 2022 uh, CCWC world champion and uh, lines and score world record holder at uh, various points in time. Oh, so that's a pretty serious upset that we just witnessed with Opox taking it over. Yeah, I mean, th th that is th that is a, 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 a non-trivial upset. Dan Sushi's PB is uh, 913,000. Uh, oh, so this is... Th th this like, is... Okay. I, I mean... Th We're talking an entire significant figure here. We are. I mean... Uh, D is that Eric is incredibly dominant, but like you know, th 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 this game can be, and I think we are seeing, you know, is you know relatively interesting. You know, te Tetris, anything can in fact happen. Eric has opened up a nearly a hundred thousand point lead, uh, over a hundred thousand point lead now. Yeah, but, but by no means am I trying to imply that like a PB is the mm -hmm. entire story. We all know that uh, but yeah, competition no. in the now is all always the the wild card. But, but no, like the, the, this is it, it. It is a great opportunity to be uh, to be playing in this way. But yeah, no. In, in terms of the the overall weight classes, no. Er, Eric is uh, you know World giant class. giant yeah. in this field. Uh, and no, the, 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 like number of people that are truly in that league. There's there's about there are about six six to eight 
you know, contenders. Three people have crashed the game. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's four at this point. Um, the new world record holder, uh, most recently world record holder, Alex T, was playing on a modified game where you could avoid mm -hmm. game crashes, and uh, that was about 16 million, basically doubling the the prior world record. Wow. Uh, in terms of score. Well, I, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that we actually have, like, some some prestige uh, at this event uh, oh, in our this tiny Chinatown uh, <laughs> uh 600,000 transition for uh, Eric ICX. Uh, oh, wow. So a near 200K, uh, 1.5K. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and sc scores move a lot faster after the transition. Mm -hmm. Uh, right, the, the, there's like greater multipliers, right? Yeah. And, and uh, we're, we're getting a little bit of color from Pumpy uh, in the chat. Uh, Opox has also finished in the top 16 in the last two CTWCs. So uh, Opox, are, the, are the CTWCs also double elimination, or are these tournaments normally single limb? Uh, th they have been double elimination in the past. Okay. Uh, Opox is, yeah, no. Uh, no shade to Opox. Let's be Absolutely abundantly not. clear. Yeah. Um, yeah. But an upset is an upset, and you know, in this case, and it's, it, it it's, it. Th there are very few people where beating Eric ICX doesn't constitute an upset. Mm hmm Awesome. On, uh, on some, from some standpoint. I'm hearing that there's usually single elimination. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, for for those um, mm -hmm. potentially unfamiliar with double elim, which is very commonplace from in from where I come from, uh, uh, top sixteen is as low as thirteenth uh, place. Uh, so that's two spots below before making top eight from the losers side of the bracket. Uh, Eric is in a, a slightly traffic situation. I mean, certainly on 18, this is eminently survivable. But at 19 speed, it's, you know, th th there are some hangs that can happen. Oh, yeah. Dan. Looks like the hang happened to Dan. Yep, and because Dan was already behind, this yep. is an immediate uh, game one victory yep. for Eric ICX. Are, are we getting a mullen? Uh, that's okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Game one to Eric. Okay, looks like they're writing up their menus. All right, there. All right. Good to go. Three. And we've got two. a countdown. Up, oh, ready? Okay, yep. now they're doing it. All right, three, two, one, Tetris. Into game two. All right, Eric up one game. And, you know, after watching uh, 19 speed for a little bit, 18 speed seems suddenly so much more manageable. I say seems. So yeah. when you say 18 speed or 19 speed, is that the level yeah, on the so, screen? Okay. So the... the, the for uh, most of the history, for the history of uh, competitive Tetris, uh, 18 uh, is the the speed changes at uh, level uh, 16 mm -hmm. to uh, the speed that it maintains at level 18, uh, and then at level 19, the speed changes again to. Uh, one row every two frames. Right. The maximum possible speed of the game is hits at level 29. Where it's every frame. Where it's uh, one line every frame for dropping. Uh, they introduced... That was known as the kill screen for some yeah. long while. Uh, not because it was in the original, like, super technical definition of a kill screen the game became impossible to play because it glitched out. It was just faster than what we thought was humanly possible for anybody to maintain. That was until uh, we saw the, the rolling technique, yeah. uh, really. I, I, you had the, the fastest hyper-tappers uh, 
uh, among them Eric ICX being able to play into level 29 for a little while. But until the rolling play style was developed, you really didn't see much past 29. Um, it was like, oh, we hit it, we did it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see how many seconds we can last here. Pretty before. much. Okay. Uh, and so uh, we've had a couple conversations where I was talking to Eric that were, you know, kill screen, thrill screen, second transition are all uh, <laughs> new terms people throw around for level 29. But uh, 18 speed is what the first 130 lines are played at the speed at level 18. 19 speed is the level of uh, speed at which... Uh, the one, the the following hundred lines, one thirty to two thirty, yeah. are played. So nineteen is every other frame, mm -hmm. and then eighteen is every third frame. I, I think it's uh, one and four. I think. Okay. I, I, it double the speed doubles. Oh, okay. At 19. Well, yeah. So then it, then it's every mm -hmm. four frames. Yeah. Uh, but even at eighteen speed, you are dealing with very very narrow windows oh. for those last minute tucks spins etc uh dan what? dealing with a little bit of traffic here uh 175 to 373 some flat burns needed to find his way through hey he's he's, he's coming down he's coming down he can do this i he wanted to this. point out that like you know two frame windows are still like incredibly tight uh you know, um, it, as far as I know, in, in like the speedrunning community, like Mario 64 is a 30 FPS game. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, effectively is like, that's that window. And there are frame tight things in that game that are incredibly difficult to, to handle. So like, just because it's not every frame, not mm -hmm. one frame tight doesn't mean it isn't very difficult. No, yeah. <laughs> and in a competitive environment, oh my. Yeah, and I mean, we're not even talking about speedrunning. In this case, this is just how you have to play in a co in competition <laughs> yeah. now. This is... You no. have to stay locked in for uh, multiple hours of the day. There is no resetting. There is no... Uh, while you obviously can take breaks between your sets, mm -hmm. there are no breaks between games once your set has started. Uh, er Eric has opened up... Uh, no, uh, again... Always hard to say insurmountable, but uh, a massive monster of a lead. Yeah. Nearly uh, 300,000 points. Uh, but, you know, Dan, Dan is surviving, and sometimes all you need to do is survive and just keep yourself playing reasonably. But uh, 545 is, at 110 lines, really killer pace. Definitely uh, probably going to see... Uh, if this game goes that long, I would say our next our next max out following Opox's so, max out. So what is a max out? A max out is a score of uh, <laughs> one million points. The original Tetris score counters uh, are only deal with oh. nine 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 nine. Okay, I, I recall when you guys were talking about that when Opex was playing, and I saw that uh, the score changed to an A. Yeah, and I was like, ah, okay, so, I see. So what what what? What that is, that's the score uh, shifting over to being calculated in hexadecimal. Yep, yep. Um, because the original uh, cartridges would just cap out. Like, you just wouldn't get any mm -hmm. more points after 900,000. So, uh, the entire score points. at that point converts to hex mm -hmm. at that point? Okay. Yep, and then you're you're watching, you know, A, -A, -A is, you know, one one one. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, A, A yeah. is ten. Yeah, A is uh, ten. B is one point yeah. oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we 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 actually got to see a one point two game earlier. It's uh, very funny that uh, just to try and show the score on in this classic game that the community has had to learn hexadecimal. <laughs> you know, it it <laughs> fantastic. The the original workaround involved that was with a game genie code. Mm -hmm. To uh, change how the score was displayed. Uh, right now, we're playing on uh, modified cartridges. It's uh, what's called Tetris Gym, yep. which fixes a lot of the crashes in the original and allows for things like same piece sets yep. by modifying the random seed. Absolutely love uh, hearing of, of these like advancements that all these different communities uh, do for for their own 
uh, scene. It, yeah. It's it's always so interesting. Eric is also uh, a major figure in additionally uh, maintaining uh, these kinds of. Ooh, that's a it's a little bit of a tough uh, tough possibly a double flip that we just saw on Eric's side. Uh, Dan is uh, facing quite a significant score deficit. It's it's possible that, but uh, if uh, if Eric doesn't get this down, could be in a bit of a, a bit of a situation. Chase down is conceivably possible, but oh, with that with that dirty, it looks like Eric moving to eight hundred eleven thousand. And that's going to be it Dan for Dan. tapping out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nearly a 2-1 to one, uh, score. Uh, right I mean, it, it, it's... It would have been a serious endurance uh, endurance chase down to make that happen. I think we're going to see our game three. Uh, they're, they're waiting for my word, I think. Ready? Hmm. All right, three, two, one, Tetris. Boom. And not too no, s similar placement starting us out. I think this is where this is where Dan, uh, I I if he accepts that, and I don't mean this in any shade at all. Uh -huh. uh, if he accepts that he is being outclassed, he should have just started the game in uh, mimicking uh, Eric <laughs> and just copying and just seeing how long he could keep up with it. Well, I, 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 I mean, you know, the, 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 there have been a couple games where we've seen something like 20 odd pieces in the exact same simultaneous placement yeah uh, I, I know th uh, I, I only say that because one I thought of it too mm -hmm. uh, but I heard uh, you brought up in commentary mm -hmm. uh, mentioning like I just want to see that happen uh, like in tournament and I'm just like that sounds so funny the uh, I believe it was 2019. Uh, Joseph versus Green Tea in the semi semifinals, where where that happened for an inordinate amount of time. Excellent, solid sloping build from Eric. Question for um, because now obviously the game has evolved uh, to the point where uh, you can set the seed are there ever like seeds that are banned or like recorded to be like un like not used in in competitive play or uh so so that's uh that's a good question what i uh, i don't know if there have been seeds that are banned specifically uh i do know that there are procedures for randomly generating a seed and then there's a there's a whole other category of uh seeded speed runs where if you know what yeah. the pieces are coming, yeah, it, for, pe people yeah. have tried to do that in the speedrun context. I am unaware. So I of would imagine the seeds that are used for speedruns would not be allowed in competitive play because if you were a speedrunner, mm -hmm. that would be pretty pretty slanted in your favor. Yeah, no, I I, I would I, I have not had heard of the 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 competition scandal yet <laughs> of someone rehearsing a seed and then rigging the draw but who knows i mean th that could be the next big scandal and you know doesn't doesn't even require as much equipment as some of the chess cheating scandals you, you may have heard about on the internet lately the, <laughs> the only way yeah the, the only way uh that would even be viable is that you'd have to you'd have to know like quite a handful of those seeds because yeah i mean one it, would only take you so far well look you, you, you would have to have you would have to be rigging the draw in order for that to be <laughs> yeah. viable but you know we're not here to talk about how people can cheat at Tetris. We're here to talk about how people can play Tetris immaculately. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing right now. Really, really excellent work by uh, both players. Uh, 70,000 point lead. Little bit of a spire on Dan's side. Oh, oh. oh. I think the spire spiraled. And uh, after sending him to the loser's bracket, that that's... Eric sends him home. All right. So with that, 
we're going to see a grand finals. Thank you, Pumpy. CCWC re-rolls the seeds each year. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because like that, like uh, that seems like such an obvious like low hanging fruit uh, that like clearly there must be some process for something like that. Um, and I'm and I'm obviously just asking like like the kind of dumb and obvious questions because uh, I'm very very foreign from this uh, scene. And we appreciate it because we definitely want to make sure that the scene stays as welcoming as it has always been to new people. Oh, well, your, your after wire is on top of the mic. There we go. Well, welcome back, Dan. Welcome back, Dan. H how, did, how did that feel? It it was okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I knew it wasn't going to when uh, got to 29. Sorry, not 29. I got to 19 speeds two out of the three games. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I got to level 22 and 24. Um, so, I mean, happy. hey, no. That, that one game that I... Oh, that 24 game, <laughs> it was a, that was a struggle game for most of it, though. Um, it, was, so. it was it was not an easy 24. No, no. Um, but uh, but it was fun, you know. I mean, like I said, any any game that I don't top out early, I'm happy. So no, absolutely. Um, there you go. And and um, uh, you know, Eric was doing great out there. So and you know, Dan, if you want to review your matches immediately. 